Hey everyone, welcome back to Undeveloped Minds by Undeveloped People. And my name is Darren. This is Joe Fan as usual. Yo, episode yo, yo. three of the podcast. Before we start, we usually have a brief explanation. So this is gonna go. First, we have our introduction right here. Second off, we have our basic uh, mind developing session, which we usually just oh, have yes. to chat about a subtopic we have on the podcast. And we have the full-on developing mind session where we talk about the main subject of today, which you can see by the title or by going to the segment after this. And finally, we have the closing for today. Okay. Yep. So, so how was your day? So, so, uh, mm, been, you know, a chill day, actually. It's like, been like one of those days, you know, like where you have nothing to do. So you just sit yeah, in bed yeah. and watch YouTube. Been it's actually really good, nice though. Been that since 2020. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, quarantine. But like, it, uh, like, because of online school recently, like, you know, this, this, like, this day is like so rare. Yeah. You never get this day. I feel you. Like, waking up a, t- a tad bit late, like, instead of 8 p.m., 9 p.m. I woke up, yeah, I woke up at 10, bro, for yeah. the first time in like About six months. Okay. Well, so much better. It just feels so nice. Yep. Feels so nice, man. How about I, you, man? How was your day? I'm doing great. Doing great. I, I, let's move on to the mind developing session. I only have one question for today because I feel like we can talk about this for a little bit more than like the usual topic. So it's okay, a okay. kind of question. Okay. So would you rather quit school right now and get a million dollars or or roughly um 14 billion in rupiah? Oh or would you rather work till you're 30 but you would get yeah. two million? dollars so like after school you would work for like 10 years and you get two million dollars um honestly man i would quit school bro i'm um, like i would quit school definitely bro like because you can yeah, use that money to like for like one million dollars you can use that money to invest in stuff you know to get yeah, what would you your do return with a million dollars like you're you're 15 right now what would you do may i uh uh hmm to, like I see the craze about like the stock market and stuff like investing in like stocks and that is you know, not like, easy. Even like, yeah, I know it's not easy, but like, if you have a million dollars, bro, you can like hire like a professional who can like teach you stuff, or even like oh, yeah. investing in like Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin's like been rising right recently. It's, like, well, it's crypto, a bit, a bit. Yeah, cryptocurrency. Weird, I guess, but. I, I don't know. I would take the thir- the two million dollar worth of thirty. No, actually, I I I like. I would take the same option as you. I would probably like, like open more businesses. Yeah, yeah. Like the problem is like if you go to thirty, you waste like fifteen years of like time, bro. Time is so precious. Like, but like I don't think one know, million like, is equal to fifteen years. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you did. Like I see what you mean. But like you have to understand that um that you know. Um, until you're 30 you can still get like more money let's say like 2 million right and then like after yeah. 30 that might be like your big break like let's say you went to med school right and like yep. suddenly you got a promotion as like the, the senior doctor at like your local hospital or like at the big hospital like you're definitely yeah. making way more bank than to just 2 million dollars but like of course it's, it's a question, like, like yeah. would you take the risk now or like you know wait it out yeah, yeah wait it out yeah but like the biggest main factor is time honestly like yeah, 15 time. years bro that's a, like there's a lot of time wasting you know like the 1 yeah. million right now you can you know like do stuff that you wouldn't do when you're 30 you can, you when can you're 30 even make your like, own old. social media platform like whatever the name would be <laughs> yeah bro no, yeah like no one's gonna watch a 30 year old like doing some social media stuff like I'm pretty sure like 15 year olds are more relatable and like the social yeah, media yeah, platform yeah. right now Alright, on the topic of social media, let's move on to our main session. Oh, oh, that was smooth. That was that it's was. There. <laughs> Alright, so our main session of today is um, this current situation of social media. Um, for me, social media is toxic, 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 toxic. <laughs> what to say the word and search up in um, in any dictionary? Just type up toxic, and then social media <laughs> would just come out. <laughs> I don't know. You sure. Like, yeah. what's your personal experience with the toxicity in, like, social media? I'm just saying, like, okay, let's just keep it real. Let's say, like, for fan bases. Let's say, let's say cool. me and you are, like, big, like, into the 
hip hop rap type of vibe. So yeah. like, yeah, Roy, you know those type of beats. Yeah, yeah. and like yeah, maybe yeah. a bit of casual pop, like maybe Shawn Mendes. But Justin, like, yeah, yeah, Justin, Justin is banging with the new album, by the way. Oof. Yes. Like, but like, for example, let's say about the Grammys. Let's say I would say, oh yeah, I believe that Post Malone should have won the Grammys this year. And then like, you know what everyone would do? Like, no, BTS deserves to win. <laughs> well, well, it the like social media, like in my opinion, creates like a platform where like people can like express their opinion, but like. Sometimes they just take it too far, you know. Like, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Pressing it, like, my opinion is the best. It's it's the correct answer. It's nothing, more like nothing's biased. Best. Yeah, it's so biased, and uh, like the the opinion becomes like so toxic. Like, you you don't agree with me. Yeah, yeah. Feel you don't. Especially you don't like, to be. Especially like when someone has your back. Let's say, uh, remember when there was like a movement for like, um, women empowerment for like let's say like, yeah. oh, this guy raped a woman or something like that. Yeah. Like a, a abuser, like something bad, basically. Right? Yep. Like every woman would like, oh, women are not equal to men or something like that, right? I guess. Well, this that is, is true yeah. to a certain way, but but let's say some guy like comments, for example, not all guys are like that, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that guy would be slated in the comments. I'm pretty sure he would be gone. Like, like well. You have to think about like the, the like the women like I don't think it's like a right, necessarily a right place to like comment that like you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends I mean, no, on the post. Yeah, I mean, get, but like, I guess it's true. But then again, you don't know, right? Like, yeah, I mean, maybe if you're like, yeah, I guess the, it depends on like the context the, of the post. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if the family of the yeah, yeah, is, yeah, like, okay. posting like spread awareness, and you say. Not like, oh, so like, and that's that's like, such an annoying move. That's just yeah, yeah, not yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah, but like, it's then again, for example, let's say, um, let's say, oh, whose artist is better? Um, like, um, uh, who? Give me a name. Kanye or like GGC, something like that. Uh, I yeah. better. And know? like, let's say like there's like, 50 Kanye fans going like Kanye is so good. He's he has the best music, everything. And then like, a Jay Z fan just comes along, kind. Of, like, no way, Jay Z has like this, 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 and then like you would be slated by all fifty of those people. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I don't like about like social media, ex- especially Twitter, man. Twitter, <laughs> like every every single day I log on Twitter, there's always like this hashtag where like hashtag cancel this or stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of annoying because it's like you don't you know that like in psychology there's something called like court like. You know what? I forgot the, like, the exact name. Like, don't don't even put soci- sociology, man, if you can't even remember the thing. No, it's like, you know, the, you know, I forgot, like, you know what, what one of our, like, school teachers ever told me, like, it's called Horde Mentality, oh yeah, Horde Mentality, you know? Horde Mentality, where, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. one person is, like, charging in with this specific opinion. Like, almost everyone, without thinking, is just like, boom, I'm, I'm just gonna... Okay, yeah, 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 I gonna guess. Just like, attack the same person cause, without researching. Because it's like, if you don't go with it, you're gonna get, get it, you know? Yeah, 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 and that's a you know the like annoying Twitter, part. Are we sure like you can do like things like okay, let's say like I posted like let's say, um, I think Michael Jordan is better than LeBron James. Okay, whatever. Oof. Don't don't don't. That's not go cool. deep into that. But that's like I say that, and then and then like for example, you replied and say like, nah, Kobe is the best, and then you ratio me, and everyone and I would get slated because of that. <laughs> Come on, let's be real, well, right? Of course, but like, I also, bro, the ratio thing is just like childish now, in my opinion. Like, what's the point of not liking the person who, like, it, it's just childish now. But yeah. like, because you don't use Twitter as much, right? Uh, I use it almost every day. I use it to like watch the news, like, see what, like, new stuff. Like, I, don't, what are, like, I don't use it on a daily basis, but I, I, I check, I hop online here and there sometimes. Yeah, yeah, but like, from me who uses it every day, like when I see people trying to ratio like someone else for no reason, like, like sometimes I would like legit see a celebrity who's like talking about like their new project, like a, a, a coming new movie, a music, like new music. People in the comments would like ratio, like what's the point? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're trying to ratio Kendall. Who, who, 
who's gonna raise you, Kendall Jenner, bro? Well, it's depends. like kind of childish, bro. It's such childish. Yeah, it's so yeah. childish. Well, but like, okay, moving on to the topic again. Like, I guess it's uh, not just in like the way you can reply to people, right? I guess it's also like yeah. how people express themselves. I mean, like, for example, you can someone can go post like. Let's say you're in this group, uh, and you and your best friend, and your best mate goes like wears a suit and a tie, and goes very very lavish, right? And yeah. then like posts on Instagram, gets like 500 likes, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand likes, whatever, right? And then we we'll go like, yeah. oh, he's so handsome or something. And then you post up, you post like, for example, this, and then and it goes like. Uh, like you just chilling on your bed with like your trousers, <laughs> not, <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, not what? trousers. What? Like, like, like you chilling on your bed with like your what pajamas or something like that. It would be like, even... like, oh my god, he's so ugly compared to this guy, you know. <laughs> no, you know what that like when you when you said that it reminds me like one of my friends who's like a girl who's like a pretty girl like she's attractive in my opinion she's attractive but like. You know the comments? It's all like, it's so crazy, bro. It's all like, rough arts. Oh my god, you're so cute. Yeah. Look at that it's hair. Sometimes it's like pretty. Like, like I it's know, a... I know you're 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 capping, but like, why? Like, you're you're just feeding their egos. I swear. Yeah, it's just like, now they like they they expect like, oh, I'm not pretty, bro. Like I expect you to say I'm pretty and I'm I'm cute and stuff. <laughs> you don't yeah, have to just, do it in an act, bro. Bro, uh, you know, it, it, you know it, it. It makes it better if you do an accent. Like, <laughs> yes. No. It's also toxic because, like, usually when people post on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, um, Twitter, or Snapchat or something like that, right? Yeah. Or maybe even TikTok. It's usually like, um, it's usually where it's their best form of themselves. You know, like. You won't go Ooh. out and post random selfies of yourselves, right? <laughs> of course, man. You like would, you would that's why social media is sometimes that, like that. You yeah, know? you would always post something that makes you look at least half decent. Pretty, right? Yeah, like pretty, like well suited. Like, like I don't think well, anyone's gonna well, post well, themselves. Yeah. Yeah, well fitted, I guess, or like your weight loss journey or something. Yeah. But like, I guess for people like um, normal people who just serve the internet. It'll be like, oh my, uh, like, oh, this guy's so well looking, or like, oh, he's so like well built, like abs, everything, or like a poor girl, like, oh, he, she has such a beautiful face, oh, her hair is gorgeous, whatever, right? Yeah. It's toxic in the way that, I guess, people would compare themselves to like people, like major artists, or like, yeah, even, like you're the pretty yeah. girl in the school, or something like that, or like, like expectations, or, right? It yeah, creates, yeah, like, like. Like unfair ex- expectations. Like if you don't look at like, you know, like I'm pretty. If you don't look like me, we can't be friends. It's like it just creates not that, really like, the like that. Not right? really just like that. Like more to like, um, let's say, let's say this girl is like okay looking, and there's like the, the pretty school in school, and then like she serves the intern in the school post, and then everyone like like a hundred comments goes like, you're so pretty, uh, blah, like you're so gorgeous, you're so smart, everything, and then like, and then she just sees that. Oh, I want to be like her, you know. And then like, turns out yeah. like she's not even close to anything like that. Like inside, she's like way toxic and everything. And then, and when she tries to become to her, like everyone would go like, "Oh, you're a copycat or whatever like that." And that would just hurt their mental, you know. Like, yeah, but you know, like if you're on social media, you shouldn't take any everything to heart. Like that's yeah, that's just yeah. my opinion. But I guess not mm-hmm. everyone can be like that, you know. Every yeah, but <sighs> like I hope, like I wish, like everyone in like the internet would have like a mentality, uh, like I, you know, where it's 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 in the internet. It's not affecting you real. It should affect you in real life. But I get like some people who have like so like feel subconscious about themselves. Like I'm not as pretty as that girl. Like I should be prettier and stuff, you know. And yeah, I feel them. It's it, some. It will hurt your mental crazily. Yeah, and I just I just hope that everyone can understand that. Don't take it too hard. Like, whatever people yeah, say man. on social media, whether the good or the bad, just know that they're just doing it just to express themselves. Even though maybe 
some of their intentions are not like that just think of it as that like don't don't it's take real, it seriously you know? just just look at it if you enjoy it just give it a like or something you don't you just yeah. don't yeah don't it, it, don't don't take it personally it's not that it's not it's not that serious and, and if it if you have like if you find it hard imagining that it's not real just think of it like it's in the internet it's digital it's not it's not supposed to affect you in real life just understand that like personally for me like I would even go as far as like so if you recently watched my Instagram like I have no posts right now right <laughs> you deleted your post man yeah yeah you used I, to have deleted my post, post. You deleted it like wait let me let me hop on the reason like I don't like I don't feel like my posts are like up to standards you know sometimes so like I just delete them off and like wait, wait. so you deleted it because you feel like you're not the photos like, are good like the photos are good enough yeah and then like like sometimes like when you think like oh this is such an ugly photo or like oh I could have done better with this photo and then like like you just think about it too much you know that's why uh, like I haven't, I haven't yeah, posted anything yeah. in the past two years true, true, that, true. a year a year and a half but personally bro like what I post on social media is like some stuff that you like, know like I off, really right? like If you, if you look at my like Instagram I I literally have a photo of me when I was 12 and I was like chubby and short and not looking the best I was on my like like my put on t-shirt everyday t-shirt so personally I don't think it's for me it's not some like it's not like you you know where you where you want to look like so like well fitted well dressed for me it's yeah, like maybe. It's, just, it's just whatever I want to post I just post You know? uh, I see, I see. Well, yeah, I guess everyone is different on that perspective as well. Well, we talk about like the town, like bad part of social media. What, yeah. what, what's the positive in your opinion? Positive, positive. I guess it's good for one business wise, like entrepreneurship and like marketing and like building your platform for like gaining money. It's pretty good. It's one of the best, I can say. Yeah, I would say it is. It's it's upcoming. I don't think it's the best for right now. But when well, the world the is coming to the it is the best, man. Like you don't have to go outside to get money. Actually, that's ah. Uh, what I'm uh, like, wait. What I meant is like, not it's not at its full potential. You know, it could be yeah, way better be than way this. Bigger, yeah, yeah. But like, it's yeah. When like people, now, so. uh, it's actually pretty big now if you think about it. It is like most pretty pretty big. Yeah. So, like, Like almost big companies like oh, always have like a social media platform, even like Instagram yeah. or Twitter, or even Facebook. No, it's the new yeah. wave, honestly. I like, and then another good thing would be like, I guess it's a way you can express yourself. Like back again to expressing yourself in the back. Like I don't fully uh, agree with that. Yeah, it still expresses yourself. It just depends on how other people would yeah. think your expression of yourself. No, no, I would say. Like expressing yourself, it depends on the person, you know. Because yeah. if the person is like so it. subconscious, of, yeah, yeah. If the person's like so subconscious of themselves, then I, I want to look the best, you know. So they just yeah, yeah, yeah. post the best, not like their real self. So I, I kind of disagree, but yeah, I see where you can express like I like I like cat photos or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Bro. Like I like this photo. I like that. Yeah, I I can see. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone could see that <laughs> specific topic. <laughs> But like, also, also, yeah, you know, social media. If you think about it, now it's such like Instagram is, Instagram, Twitter. There, like, there's a lot of memes. Yeah, it's like yeah. one of the best memes. Right? Now, th- like for me, like, like you don't have to take my word on this, but for me, I think memes are like the next level of ads like the next level of marketing am I wrong or am I right in your opinion so you're saying you're a meme no no like <laughs> I'm saying that bigger companies like for example Xbox station like even Samsung or Apple I think in the future they're gonna create memes to get relatable to their okay, you know, I'm pretty sure consumers. but okay. no, no that's why you don't have to agree with me I'm just saying I think memes are like the new wave of marketing, like ads. If you think about it, our like generations are, we love memes. 
like don't get it wrong our generation like likes me you like memes I like memes everyone likes memes. so if bigger companies maybe you could you know put little meme you could like yeah. get like it's more Maybe. relatable Maybe. yeah that's why you don't have to agree with me I, I, I'm just saying I think memes are the, like the next step of ads and marketing Yeah, yeah, I can see that happening. I can see it. I can see it. But maybe not right. Even now. right now, man. Even right now, like. Okay, okay. Uh, you get again. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Sure, bro. Just saying. I guess. But memes. another, another positive, we can get from social media is, I guess, we can like still stay in touch with people, even though like we're thousands and thousands of miles away from each other. Yeah, I'm actually scared, bro. Like. I'm close, like, with some friends, and we're close to like college, where everyone goes to different paths. Right? I'm yeah. scared I won't be able in touch, but like, I think Instagram will like at least make it so I know what they're doing, where they are, you know. So it makes it feel like we're still connect, like, close, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously. Well, I'm really scared about that. But yeah, I, like, I think what if I close, especially like, this podcast? Like, I pre- the main reason we made this podcast is just to talk to each other, because. Yeah, I talk to each other. Like, I'm really sure without this podcast, we'd probably talk less. Because one, I don't play as much games as I used to, and sometimes like we just are on different timelines. Like, oh, I'm super busy and he's super busy right now. So, I guess like yeah, having this podcast but... would have like a set amount yeah. of like at least 30 minutes of us just casually chit chatting, you know? Yeah, just because before like before online school started, like like the actual online school. Like a new year of online school, like we actually chatted a lot, right? We just yeah. call like constantly. Constantly. And if the re- yeah, one of the reasons is because we chat like a lot, and then like we think about it, like oh this this could be actually interesting if you make it in podcast, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I guess like, podcast should, yeah. is another way of having social media without like a one way social media. I mean, like because I'm pretty sure no one can like um, reply to each other on podcast, <laughs> but like at least you can listen. Oh, that would be. Interesting though, you could do like a live podcast. Imagine like Q and A like live. It would be hard thinking about it. Like for now, just think. I mean, both of us chit chatting. Yeah, but you know, maybe if we're big, we can like maybe we can like dive in like live podcast. You know, yeah, like yeah. where like the audience can give us like Q like questions and we can answer and we can yeah, talk yeah, about like our personal fun. stories. Like, But that would now. be so fun. Yeah, yeah, but I, yeah. I guess we would have to meet each other in real life first and like record it in like a better situation. Of course, not just like yeah. audio and just like image. Like we have to show like everything as well. We, yeah, we can, like our setup. Yeah, but not now. Yep, definitely not now, man. Corona. <laughs> yes, sir. And like, I guess news is also a bad thing. Like, like a the bad news, thing. Like, no. like imagine like. You seeing like oh you were promised like oh the vaccine is coming up and then like the news is like oh there's a mutation and then like oh and then your men- your 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 head just goes like oh man and you just go down like your mood just changes it's also bad because like too much of that like would make you like just never uh, yeah, never yeah. really like, think positive towards things yeah like you would just like, think, like when, oh, it's just yeah. so fake like even though it's real you would just think it's so it's fake real, like, yeah. You're fed up with it. Like, in the early stages of quarantine, like like news media, like always like says like oh this like this month of person died, like people died, died this much, this much. It's just like kids like oh there's a lot of people dying. Yeah. What if I'm next, you know? That's oh, like no. uh it's just it's not good to see, you know, when you see like one million people died from COVID, you just feel like man, that's, that's not a good thing. One fun, million. It is yeah, bro. It's just not fun. Yeah, it's like, Man. sometimes, like, not just that, like, maybe even, like, hoax is a pretty bad, like, I don't know, maybe, like, <sighs> some news that, like, only um, teenagers will be will be infected by this new disease. It's just bad for us, you know? Or, like, maybe, like, yeah. or, um, currently, the new, not- the new school system only needs us to, like, you have to get 85 to get to college, not no longer, like, basic 70s. So it's, like, pressure to everyone, you know? Yep. But I think news also has its benefits, you know, like news from social media. Because teens, like, use, use social media more than, like, reading a newspaper. So I think it can bring some, some level of awareness, you know? I think, yeah, Where, I think for, like, news, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's, like, more to adult people. Like, 
them seeing the news about like for example their company going bankrupt that would just make them go crazy because they have, have to like find a job or something right but yeah for teen it creates an awareness like to be honest have you ever read the newspaper and like oh I should be aware of that like a, like a new business just collapsed or something or like even like right now not, where... not, not necessarily like newspapers but like maybe like from an Instagram news outlet you know Yeah, that's right. That's right. Like, like social media with news can have like some benefits by like ex- like expanding the you know target audience where like teens can actually read the news and be aware about like like COVID. Imagine like even like like COVID man. Like right now, even yeah. like teens know like what's the advancement in like vaccine and when should they expect it, but. Yeah, when should they expect a vaccine, and like when should things be normal? But you don't have, actually, when you yeah, you said it right. Like you shouldn't actually stop stigma. Yeah, it's, it's as long as you just um, perspective. Understand it. Like yeah, I understand it. Like you won't you won't get any um, feelings from it. But like, not everyone is that immune to social media. <laughs> Like not yeah, like I know some people handle those type of things easily. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's my general topic about social media. How about you? Yeah, social media is. I think social media is gonna grow. Like, as the years, like, as decades go on, I think social media is gonna grow into I'm, something bigger. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the biggest thing. It is. Yeah, I, I think like yeah, like even right now, bro. I don't like newspapers and. Not the number one news source. Yeah, yeah. Even, yeah. even like it's in, even it's like in COVID season right now. Like after it's over, I think social media news is gonna take over newspapers and you know like magazines and stuff. So I think it's gonna like gonna get bigger, definitely. Yeah, more would, apps, more. You would hope to think so. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure it's basically almost at the top, and it's gonna be at the top. Um, Oh, it's gonna be real. Yeah, like definitely... with like people like having internet access and like more people having phones. Yeah, yeah. Like... Especially how we people like almost everyone here now has a phone. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, even, even in India, here. right? Yeah, even everywhere, in India, bro. where like everywhere, everywhere, man. But like, it's yeah, everywhere. man, it's crazy. It's gonna grow. Uh, that that's like the it's thing. It's gonna grow. Grown, it's gonna fam. be the biggest. It's no. It's gonna grow more. It's gonna be the yeah. Even though it's really thing. biggest, it's still gonna grow. So yeah. it's still gonna grow. Cause so just, more apps gonna be developed. More like yeah. If you're an older, think... yeah. If you're older, you may like news like, more accurate news. So like maybe some like some news sources can make some apps who who can give like accurate news sources like reliable stuff. It's gonna happen. Yes. Yeah. So just to close it out, just basically like. Whatever social media does, just think about the positives. Just like neglect the fact that there's like toxicity, even though there's things like that. Like, just neglect the fact that like comments or like replies, everything are toxic. Just, just, just don't think about it. That'll be way yeah. much better for you. Just think about the positives. Just use the social media as benefits. And if you need, yeah, like talking to your friend from social media, just take a break. It's not a bad thing. Yep. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. You, you will feel better. Like talk to your family more, talk to your mom, your dad, your brothers and sisters. You'll feel way better if you're actually like super exhausted from social media. Yeah, I agree. So you want to close that, fam? Uh, well, that's our third episode, man. It's already three episodes, man. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's well, been three weeks. It's been three weeks and three episodes. I'm a- I'm a- actually excited and and thank you guys for like the support. From the first video and the second video. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.